What's up guys, my name is Ace, and now that we finally have access to the gunsmith with the Modern Warfare beta, I can finally get some testing done on here, and one of the big things that I wanted to look at in today's video is aim down sight time and how various attachments will affect your aim down sight time. This is currently a pretty big concern for a lot of people in the community because they're looking at a lot of these attachments and it seems like half of the attachments out there, if you put them on your gun, it will actually increase your aim down sight time and therefore make it more difficult to be aggressive and encourage people to sit and pre-aim on things. Personally, before I was doing this testing, I was also very concerned about this, but I've got some great news for you guys and I'm gonna be sharing that throughout this video. So keep in mind, I only tested this on two different guns, one assault rifle, the M4A1, and one SMG, the MP5. There will be much more testing done when the full build of the game drops, but I don't want to get too detailed into the testing because things could change so easily at this point that I could just be wasting potentially hours and hours of work. But let's kick it off with the M4A1. The M4A1 has a base aim down sight time of 250 milliseconds, which is actually very normal for recent Call of Duty games. This is faster than Call of Duty 4. This is more like in line with Black Ops 4, for instance. It's a very respectable aim down sight time for an assault rifle. When it comes to attachments, let's first hop into the optics. And this is one of the areas where a lot of people were very confused, especially with like reflex sights and holographic sights. In the game, it states that these reduce your aim down sight speed which doesn't really make much sense, it's actually quite unrealistic. You actually get a much faster sight picture if you're using a reflex or a holographic compared to using iron sights in real life. So a lot of people were very confused about this. But I went through, I tested all of the optics that I had unlocked at the time, which was quite a few of them. And here are the results. For the operator reflex as well as the holographic sight, it turns out they have no measurable impact on your aim down sight time at 60 frames per second. Now there probably is some slight adjustment behind the scenes, but on consoles at least, you will never notice that difference. You'll never be able to see that difference because you're only playing at 60 frames per second. So if you guys really like using a reflex or a holographic, but you don't want to increase your aim down sight time, don't worry about it. You can throw it on there and it won't be adjusting your aim down sight time at all. After the holographic sight though, this is where the aim down sight speeds do start to slow down a little bit. With the aim op reflex sight, your aim down sight speed is slowed down by one frame, and then everything after that, that I have unlocked at least, will reduce your aim down sight speed by two frames. So that starts to get to the point where it's definitely noticeable. So just be aware when you're looking at optics, don't worry too much about putting a reflex or a holographic on there, but anything after those sights, that's when it starts having an actual noticeable effect on your aim down sight time. Next up we have the muzzle attachments, and both the flash guard as well as the muzzle brake state that they will reduce your aim down sight speed, but I tested both of them and the aim down sight time was once again unchanged. There was no measurable difference to your aim down sight time, so don't worry about using those attachments either. After that we get into the different barrels that you can put on the M4A1. With the lightweight barrel, quite surprisingly, this does reduce your aim down sight speed by two frames. It's a relatively noticeable amount. Which is a little bit strange because it's supposed to be a lightweight barrel, but it's acting more like a heavy barrel. But at least the description is accurate for that. It does say that it will reduce your aim down sight speed, and that is the case. Next, we have the short barrel, which actually improves your aim down sight speed, and that will improve it by two frames down to 217 milliseconds, which is actually very fast for an assault rifle. So that's really nice if you're looking to aim down sight really, really quickly. And finally, we have the heavy duty barrel, which does slow your aim down sight speed by just one frame. So it doesn't actually slow it down as much as the lightweight barrel does, but it does slow it down a little bit. After this, we have the stippled grip attachment. And this is something that improves your aim down sight time as well as your sprint out time. And when it comes to aim down sight time, it only improves your aim down sight time by one frame. But with the sprint out time, which I will be covering in more detail in a different video, I just wanted to mention that the stippled grip has a massive effect on your sprint out time, and it's gonna help rushing players a lot. So if you're really feeling like you can't be aggressive and you're constantly getting caught sprinting and not being able to get a shot off, stick with it until you unlock that stippled grip. It's gonna help you out a ton. Now the last attachment I tested with the M4A1 when it comes to aim down sight time is the extended mag attachment. This one also states that it has an increase to your aim down sight time, so a reduction to your aim down sight speed. And this one was very interesting because this actually speeds up your aim down sight time with the M4A1. This might be a bug or something, but in its current state, you actually get a faster aim down sight time with the extended mag attachment on the M4A1. So if you've been avoiding it because you didn't want to slow down your aim down sight time, well, the good news is it actually has the opposite effect, so you should absolutely be running extended mag on the M4A1. 
So overall, looking at those numbers, it's actually looking very good for those people like myself that were concerned that the aim down sight times would end up being way too slow and therefore you've just been avoiding a bunch of attachments. For many of them, there's no concern whatsoever. Feel free to use a reflex, a holographic, flash guards, muzzle brakes, extended mags. For all of those things, they will have no negative impact on your aim down sight time. However, the ones you have to be careful with are going to be your barrel attachments. Those absolutely do have a noticeable impact on your aim down sight time, as well as any of the higher zoom optics. Those ones also start to have a noticeable impact on your aim down sight time. Also, you do have to be a bit careful with stacking attachments because you definitely can make the gun much worse in this department when you start stacking them. So what I did is I stacked up the M4A1 with all of the worst attachments to slow down my aim down sight time as much as I possibly could. And I got an aim down sight time of 367 milliseconds, which is ridiculously slow for an assault rifle. This is actually noticeably slower than most LMGs would aim down sight in previous Call of Duty games. So while you can feel safe using one or two of these attachments here or there that state that they reduce your aim down sight speed, you have to be careful with this because when you start stacking them, then that's the point when they start to get really bad. But that's the M4A1, now let's move into the MP5. And with the MP5, at the time of this testing, I didn't have as many attachments unlocked, but I still wanted to go over the ones that I did have unlocked. Our base aim down sight time with the MP5 is somewhere between 200 and 217 milliseconds. It's somewhere in between those frames. I'm gonna guess that it's coded at 210 milliseconds. And with any of the optics that I had unlocked, the operator reflex, the holographic, and the aim op reflex, these have no measurable impact whatsoever on your aim down sight time, so feel free to use those. Also, the flash guard had no noticeable impact whatsoever on the aim down sight time. And this just left me with the extended mag attachment, which did very slightly slow down the aim down sight speed, but this is really a negligible difference, so I wouldn't worry at all about putting extended mags on there if you're worried about it affecting your aim down sight speed. As for the stipple grip attachment, I did want to point this out for the MP5. This does cut your aim down sight time down to 200 milliseconds, which again is fairly negligible, but it is nice to see that it helps a little bit, I guess. But mainly, I did want to point out that the sprint out time is significantly improved when using the stipple grip attachment. It pretty much cuts your sprint out time in half, and therefore, once again, like I said, if you've been having a problem with sprint out time, just wait till you get that stipple grip attachment and you should have no problem whatsoever. And this is really good news. If you guys saw my video yesterday where I hadn't unlocked much stuff, I honestly didn't realize you could unlock the stipple grip attachment because they actually hide attachments until you unlock them or until you get close to unlocking them, which I found to be very strange. I didn't think you'd be able to unlock stipple grip, but after more playtime, you absolutely can. And without knowing the effects of stipple grip, I was concerned about sprint out times, but now that I see it, we have an excellent option to reduce that if that's what we want out of it. And it actually helps a lot. So really happy about that one. Also with the MP5, just wanted to point out, I stacked up on all the attachments I could that say that they reduce your aim down sight speed. And even when stacking all those attachments, it had no noticeable effect whatsoever on aim down sight speed. So when it comes to SMGs, it looks like you can go crazy with any attachments that say that they reduce your aim down sight speed because they simply don't. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Personally, I'm so happy to see that these downsides on attachments aren't going to have a really serious effect on the guns, at least when it comes to aim down sight time. I was really worried that I was going to be avoiding most attachments and I would never really get to experience them because I don't want to adjust my playstyle to the point where I have to pre-aim everything and walk around the map with my sights up all the time. But of course, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about these results and the fact that for many of these attachments, they don't actually harm your aim down sight speed at all. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time. Yeah.